Hello and welcome. My name is Ski Breezy, and today we take up the power of one of the four horsemen as we journey through the world of Darksiders. I'm going to be playing on normal because I'm hardcore like that. Let's do this. Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell can do honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between heaven and hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. So first things first, this is our protagonist, War, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and one of the four survivors of the Nephilim race. His duty is to come at the end times, to judge anything wicked, be it heaven, hell, or the kingdom of man. Nothing will stand in his way of judgment. These creatures are known as minions, the pack hounds of hell. But they are nothing to the Red Rider, and we make quick work of them. Now this guy is a different story. He is known as a trauma, 
and one swipe from his claws can take massive damage. But we're war. We've got something to do with him. Ah yes, Chaos Form. One of the most powerful abilities in the game. That trauma didn't stand a chance. Usually Chaos Form doesn't last that long, but on this level we're allowed to use it to a certain point. Watch as we make our way through the city, destroying everything in our path. Hmm, those angels seem surprised to see us. Let's go pay them a visit. That massive stone beast in front of us is known as a tormented gate. He's probably being harassed by the demons. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do y'all really want to mess with me in this state? I know y'all are beings of law and righteousness, but if y'all really want to tango, I have no problem with it. As you can see, not even angels can stand up to the might of the chaos form. Now with the angels defeated, the tormented gate finally getting up, we can now progress on. We are practically unstoppable right now. Wait, what the heck? What is happening? Hold on, something is definitely not right. Well anyway, let's just keep following this gate as he makes a path for us throughout the city until we can figure out what's going on. Ah, looks like there's more angels and demons. Angels have very quick lightning spear shots, so it's best to keep moving and dodging as much as possible. Now that is a satisfying kill. After defeating everything on the street, this viney substance called demon growth will grow on the side of this building, allowing us to climb up to the roof. But first we need to take out these two peanut brain pack hounds. They didn't stand a chance. Now, let us proceed on to the roof by climbing this demonic growth. Oh hey, how's it going man? Whoa! Oh my! Now that is definitely something you don't see every day. Wow. Well anyway, let's just continue our way across this power line. Huh. Looks like we got some more demonic growth. And a power line snapped. How convenient. Well, looks like we'll just keep moving forward and extending to higher ground. Get the heck out of here. I don't have time for you guys. Climbing takes high concentration. You know, for being the lowest ranked creature in the demon's military, they are persistent little boogers. But sadly, that courageous heart will end up being their demise. And look at here, our first battle room, as I like to call it. A battle room is basically a room that is locked off and you can't proceed any further until you defeat all the enemies in the room. You've probably seen a lot of these types of rooms in the God of War series. Most hack and slash games have them. This room isn't that challenging. It only consists of a couple of waves of minions. Even though the pack counts are usually strong in numbers, this is just a good room to rack up more kills on your scorecard. Now, since we just massacred this room, let's leave in a most epic fashion. Anyways, moving on, as we make our way down the elevator shaft and through a couple of hallways, 
we see a very interesting sight just outside the buildings. Hey, I remember that guy. See, when that thing swoops down, an average person would say, Oh my god, it's trying to kill us! But I beg to differ. He's just trying to give out free hugs. Come here, let me embrace you with my penis. So satisfying. Ugh, nasty bastard. After seeing that beautiful sight, we will now head down to the end of another hallway where we will jump on a zip line that will take us back down to the street level. Once we make it to the street, we notice that there's more angels and demons going at it. Angels can definitely be a nuisance with their ability to fly. But you can use your environment, like cars, to knock them down from the sky so you can land more delicious combos. Oh god, oh god no, don't do- Man I love that kill animation. It's like giving a guy an extra hole to pee out of. After massacring everything in the middle of this intersection, we'll keep moving forward down the road until we... Wait, what is that? Whoa, that was way too big to be an average angel or demon. I think this requires some investigation. you could say that this is a, uh, a big problem. Say hello to Straga, the strongest of all the Chosen Abyss creatures. Once you learn how to dodge his attack sets, he's actually not as intimidating as he looks or sounds. The first thing that Mr. Straga will do is reach down into his pool of lava, pull out some cars, and chunk them at you. Just move out the way and you should be fine. Then immediately pick up the nearest car and chunk it right back at him. After that, while he's yelling like that's going to help him out any, go ahead and throw another tin can at his face. After you hit him with two cars, he'll fall to the ground, allowing you to get a good hit or two on him. Hey, don't get mad your butt's getting spanked. Once you piss him off from touching him a little bit too much on the face, he begins to lift up the whole freaking road. Make sure to pay attention to his movements and jump right before he slams because that attack could do some hella damage. The next thing in Straga's arsenal is to slam his fists on the ground which shoots a fireball straight towards you. Just dash from left to right and you'll miss it from a mile. After that he's pretty much gravy because he starts back throwing cars and repeats every single one of his moves. So just learn how to dodge his three attacks and this guy should be no problem at all. Hmm. So much for being the strongest, the best creature. <laughs> You're mine, sucklefish. fish. 
Whoa, I didn't mean it, I swear. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. The law has been broken. And so have you, Horseman. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode of Darksiders. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you guys again.